live and in the building. Low but power not for long. <laughs> but not for long. So this is going to be sweet and short because we are about to get out of here. Yes, look, it knows it's you. Tag. <laughs> That's so funny. Tag. Where's the other little chick? Facebook is so smart. We're missing one. All right, perfect. Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday. But it feels like Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're waiting for this other little picklehead girl. Happy here. Friday, everyone. No, it's no. not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. You just came in and said, do I want to tag you? Facebook is smart. We got some it's voice recognition, recognition going on. regular people just like you guys we're yeah. regular we're regular people mm -hmm. um but from the outside looking in these are two friends that are authors sitting beside me millionaires standing beside me and not everybody can really say that and what i i really got to thinking about is leveling up not using because sometimes when people think about getting around inner circles they think of opportunists yeah. right people who yeah. only come to devour your resources yeah. we're not talking about those type of people we're not talking about leveling up to see what you can use from someone else we're talking about getting around like-minded people yeah. so when we talk about that we're not talking about someone who has nothing to bring to the table we're talking about value valuable people getting around other valuable people mm -hmm. and what I really started to think about this morning was the fact that these are my friends, so I know them in real life, I know their real struggles, I know their behind the story story, right? And where they start from, how hard they work, you know, the vision when it was just a thought, yeah. right? And how do you bring that to the forefront to become something that is a second book, right? Two books too, Jen. Mm -hmm. Jen also has two books. Yeah. So how do you bring something to life that's just the thought. And then, of course, we all did our uh, level up, level, level up, up, level up, level up, level up. Level up. <laughs> <laughs> like, how can you not love that song, right? And just dance to it. But how do you get to a place where you're leveling up, not just with your inner circle, guys, but with your thoughts, when you're taking your thoughts to the next level so that you can really touch them in real life and distribute them on Amazon, right? right? Yeah. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Can I say this too? Um, I think it's so important that everybody takes inventory of at least the five closest people that are around them. And mm -hmm. are those five closest people causing you to level up are you helping your inner circle to level yeah. up you know because you shouldn't be the only one in your circle leveling up in some area yes. if you are you need to pray and just find a new circle you yeah. need to start putting yourself in environments to get around like-minded individuals because if not what happens you end up stuck 
Yes. Because if you're the only one that's leveling up in an area, whether it's spiritually, whether it is financially, whether it's with your purpose, yeah. relationships, whatever it is, if you're the only one leveling up, what happens? The people around you tend to, they can bring you down, they can bring your energy down. Yes. And then the next thing you know, either you're gonna bring them up or you're gonna come down to their level. Yeah. Yes. So you wanna have around you people who are at a level to where you're, that, that are at a level to where you're going and at your same level. Yes. Let me move this back so they can okay. see y'all clearly because it's like cutting Jen off a little bit. Yeah. All right, nice. perfect. And I remember, I remember, um, it was this one time, it was actually Pastor John Jenkins who was talking about this. And he talked about not being able, that a goldfish cannot grow past the size of its tank. Yeah, that's okay? good. So if you drop, let's say a feeder, like a little feeder, inside of a small little starter goldfish bowl, it's going to never grow past that. Your friendships, your experiences are your real life fish tank. And what size that you are going to grow to is going to be dependent upon. Okay, can they hear us? Okay, your fish tank, so to speak, and is your friends, right? Is the people who you associate yourself with? Is the experiences that you allow yourself to have? Are you doing things that you've done for the first time? How many times have you done something for the first time? How many times are you putting yourself outside of your comfort zone? Are you meeting new people? Or are you just sticking in the same place and staying stuck in the mud? So by doing things like that, those are physical things that you can do that'll grow the size of your tank. And once your tank is bigger, you are gonna be allowed the room to grow as big as your tank is. And what I challenge you guys to do is to not just get around people, but to really elevate your thoughts and grow your tank by trying new things to grow your experiences. And something that I will say is um, my, my best practices are bringing people with me with whatever I do and wherever I go. You know, all of my friends are business owners. You know, Jen is a business owner and Kim is a business owner. And, you know, Jen has her personal brand and Kim has her brand, her personal brand that she's rolling out soon as well. Um, my friend Leela, she owns a dance studio. She, she stood me up today. I hope she's watching it. <laughs> but I love her. I'm so funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little jelly. <laughs> she's not here today. But, um, you know, she has a dance studio. And, um, you know, Nicole, she has real estate. I have my other, you know, friend, Nicole. Uh, she has real estate as well. So I try to connect my, I try to get connected with women that can pour into me and vice versa. But can I just tell you all something where I think about leveling up, I, I feel like my circle has leveled up as we come together and support each other, as we come together and put each other in positions to win we collaborate on everything and yes. we and we move as a unit yes. and some people may look at us and say wow like you know do they have to do everything together yes we do <laughs> absolutely <laughs> you when you know who has your answers yes. like your friends that you level up with should have your answers and not your problems like you want to make sure that you get around those who have yes. those answers those answers so we doing everything together exactly and i i just hope that you all share this video because sometimes people see people moving uh, together and they think that, oh, you know, they're not, they're not leaders, they're followers. And it's like, no, you guys, we understand that you can go fast alone, but you go far as a team. And we know that if you are trying to build a legacy, there is no person that can build a legacy by themselves. So there's no leader and no follower here. We are all leaders. Jen is a leader, Kim is a leader, I'm a leader. All my friends are individual leaders. And when leaders come together, we make things happen. So I just hope that you all understand what happens when you move as a unit and when you have friends that are willing to jump off the cliff with you, when you have friends that are willing to take that risk for you, when you have friends that are willing to say, you know, we're starting over from scratch, but we're about to kill this with you, not one friend. I am blessed to have many friends like that. And you always see them with me. And this is, 
this isn't a call this isn't a click this is what you would love this is what sisterhood this is what unity looks like this is what you are not used to seeing so it's unfamiliar to the eye when you've never when you've never experienced it i got tongue twisted but when you've never seen real unity real loyalty real love real women that go through challenges, go through arguments, go through fussing, go through fighting, but we stick together through it all. It's family. Yes. It's a family. And that's what true uh, family ties look like because when we move, we move together. We're here at our warehouse and we have our intern here. Come, at, come here, Naya. Say hi. <laughs> she said, what's up? It's um, all good, girl. You look beautiful. Hello. But she's Ooh. a girl CEO so too cute. and she's uh -huh. naturally beautiful. <laughs> but what I'm trying to show you all is that we don't just get just get the information uh, and keep it to ourselves we get the information and we pass it down to other women she's gonna learn something being here okay uh, she is a teen mom she is a aspiring entrepreneur she's just starting in business as well and the, the purpose of this message is also like to reach one each one teach one reach back you know yes. I think about people that are running a race Sometimes we think that when we're running a race, it's all about us. You know, we are the person that, that's in the forefront. And it's not like that. It's like I watch people that are in racing and they reach back and they hand the baton back. Yeah. Yes. So I am I have the baton. Kim has the baton. Jen has the and baton. And we pass it. Yes. And we pass it back to each other yes. to complete the race. And then we also toss it over to another young um, teen mom, young mom that's trying to raise her child Let's to help bring her somebody else in And the then race. we're going to bring another person into the race. We have my other intern, Brianna, and then we have my girl CEO in her circle. And Jennifer has her modern day missionaries. And Kim has her, what you call them? Modern day Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, it's soul circle. So yes. soul circle. But together, everybody has a mission and everyone has a vision and everyone has a purpose and that's what it's truly about that's that's truly what it's about is knowing what's dear to your friend's heart and just empowering them to be better so i want to just thank you all for your support thank you for supporting my friends make sure you go follow my friends um but also just wanting to remind you that when you all come together the power is going to be amazing and there is no stopping you. Let me just tell you, we light the fire wherever we go. Yes. And because we believe in each other and because the energy is consistent and because we have confidence in one another and what God has put inside of our bodies, we know that our blessings are not limited or contingent to anything, anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to walk in purpose and we are gonna to continue to have each other's back 24 seven. So I want you to find the women that have your answers that are waiting to align with you sometimes it may not be the people that you've known for 20 years yeah sometimes oh, wow. it may not be your friends that you've known since elementary school i don't want you all to take for granted the new people that god is bringing into your life the new yeah. women because i have friends that have been my friends since junior high school but the relationships that i have now uh they're much more significant and they're much they're fruitful. just they're more fruitful and they're more valuable to me in this season of my life so don't put your loyalty and your um, effort to connect with other women and collaborate with them don't put that don't allow loyalty to hinder your growth exactly and don't allow history to determine your future exactly look Come listen we're gonna piece y'all together <laughs> get y'all together <laughs> yes so sometimes you might find a, a lady or a young woman that you meet and you just got to know her for three months or six months and you just connect with her and the vibe is there and the energy is there and it's organic and it's been and it feels real i have a lot of that happening in this season of my life um so just don't take for granted the new people that are coming in because if i can tell you anything i'm going to tell you that there are some people out there that have your answers and connecting and collaborating is such an amazing thing and when Absolutely. you do that it's gonna blow your mind um, and what I will say is there's no perfection in relationships mm -hmm. 
y'all know, y'all know, I know y'all saw me and Kim going back and forth. <laughs> Kim, Kim converted to a Muslim. We was like, what the heck? We, we was arguing. Um, me and Jen argued. This I argued in a real one on this is, Seriously, like, well, we have to learn to love each other. She's right here by my side now, though. Love like, each nothing other is through, gonna stop it. Through nothing our is stuff, gonna stop you it. Know? You know, all my friends. Leela, we argue, we just arguing on a text message because I'm a butthole. Um, I mean, it's just normal, but we're sisters. We love each other. And we get through. And we get through it. So make sure that you love your friends where they are, that you just collaborate and connect and give them the support that they need at the lowest moments of their life. Because, Lord, let me just tell you, my friends have been there for me so much. Oh, my gosh. I am... In that season of my life where like everything is just like at one time and I just need my friends so I just want you all to know that together your lives will change and let me just add this one thing is that don't forget if you do have a friend if you have a brand or if you don't have a brand represent your friend's brand do not be yes. afraid to put your friend at the forefront I'm never afraid. My sister has a book coming out today. It's out. It's out now. Come on. We share a lot of the same friends and followers. <laughs> She's we do in my business. book. All my friends are in my book. <laughs> yes. Let's and we do, we do business, some of the same business. I'm never going to say, well, I don't want to put her forward because somebody may like her more than they like me. You cannot progress walking in a mindset of scarcity. Yeah. What God has for you is 100% always going to be yours. Yeah. You can twist. You can go left. You can go right. If it's destined for yeah. your life, it's yours to have. And you promoting someone else is only going to increase your blessings. Yes. If you have absolutely nothing to promote for yourself, at the very least, promote your friend that is doing something. I see so many struggling entrepreneurs mm -hmm. who don't have the support of their friends. Let me tell y'all something. Boss Babe is an awesome brand. Shout out to them. But you're not going to see me hashtag nothing Boss Babe because I'm a girl CEO. Okay. <laughs> Period. Point blank. Yes. And that's the way that you have to ride for people. And when you ride for people like that, they don't forget you. Mm -hmm. When they're writing a book that has nothing to do about you, they're going to have their publisher call you and say, Kim, I need your story. Yeah. Because I'm always here to promote and support my friends. And that also drives recognition to your page and your brand. Absolutely. So if, if one thrives, all thrives. So yes. Yeah, that's a and great We grow point. and thrive together. So get in on this unity ride, guys. It's going to help you just to do nothing but elevate. Even if you don't have a brand, anything that you do good, it's never going to miss you good down the road. Whether yeah. here or later. Yeah. Okay? And can I just say that I'm blessed to have friends like this. Like, all my friends are like this. They are. Like, I cannot, I can't even begin to say how thankful I am for my friends. I do events. I'm going to tell you, I don't even have to get event planners. My friends are there 100% helping me. Like, I can't even imagine and vice versa. So, I'm thankful. But if you all don't have a circle, get around some women that are going to pour in and invest in you and love you and support you. And let me just break this the stereotype that's out there like this this belief there are good genuine yes. women out, out here, here. Yes. that are not competing with you that you know are not jealous of you that do want to see you win that are not haters that love other women that promote other women that buy from other women I woke up this morning Women I don't know from all over the world, Canada, wow. freaking Europe, Africa, everywhere on the online posting me, taking me, women that I don't even know but just want to support me. Don't ever let anyone tell you that there are not real, genuine women. Like there's just this false perception that there are no more real friends. And that women can't get along. That we can't get yes. along. That if we do the same thing, it's a competition. That if you don't do what I do, I can't, you know, have a relationship with you. If you're not in the business I'm in, I can't be genuine and still maintain a friendship with you. Come on, guys. You got to grow up and wake up and understand that that's what the enemy wants you to believe. Because what it's going to do is make you go into a shell and block yourself off and not be open to new relationships and new women and it makes you believe that everyone is out to get you everyone is out to attack you and i'm telling you yes. it's 
Joshua. I'm living proof. All right. Get the book, y'all. Get my book. It's out. <laughs> it's out. Find Amazon. it on Amazon. Or you can go to ronnieb.com forward slash book. And check it out. And give me some feedback. And you'll hear Kim's story in there. I know. I think Jen is in there. I can't keep up. I know Leela's in there. Nicole is in there sharing their stories. So make sure you all go check it out. And I love you guys. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, y'all. Oh, no. That thing said block my mom. No. <laughs> <laughs>